Hello everybody, this is AKA Fusion here, back with another video, and this one will be my Plague Diamond Pistols today, and so what I'll be showing you first is what I have my attachments as, and then the genuine gameplay and everything what I'll be doing to get this weapon, Plague Diamond. As you see, I already have it, but I'll be showing you how to get it in at least two games, or four, but, so I have the Quick Dot LED, for my muzzle, I have the SOCOM Eliminator. For my barrel, I have the 6.53 Task Force. For my body, I have the Tiger Team Spotlight. And for my magazine, I have the Soval 14 Round Fast Mag. If you don't have that just yet, the 12 Round Speed Mag is also really good. And I have tier 5 ring of fire and also in pistols I have tier 5 pistols as well see for the extra increase close quarter bonus damage and increase critical bonus damage and for the map that I will be playing today will be firebase Z because that is my favorite map to get camos in what we want to do is we want to kill all the zombies with the headshot if we can. And try not to miss as much as I do. Round of the match. And as soon as you end this round, I would board up the next round's windows and then go through. So we have that little extra bit of money. And also for an extra hundred, prone at that sword machine. Now just get as much headshots as you can. Try not to miss as much as I do. So we're gonna open this, and then we're gonna open that door, go up into the teleporter, and then do all of the generators out of after getting all of the cash that we need. So let's proceed to go into the teleporter. It's about time you showed up. So you're gonna wait. You're not Omega. This time, Requiem. to just get as many headshots as you can. Now it should be like one shot to the head for a while. I'd say till like round five, maybe six. So that should be enough to get enough time to get pack a punch and everything if you spend your time wisely. I'd say get as many kills till round four, get two kills go into there, or if you get like a Stay bonus down. points or double points, use it as efficiently as possible. So if, let's say you just started round four and got it, I'd, I'd use it in round four, get as many kills and everything that I can have, and don't try to use those with other zombies in it in the game but the 1911 is a really good and fun weapon to use and I had a lot of fun using it so I'm hoping you guys would too all the pistols were really fun if I can hit my shots you wouldn't have so much of an issue with this But basically, just get as many headshots as you can. And because I have so much ammo in it, I can actually afford to miss a couple shots. If I don't miss all of my shots. See how that is double XP? I want double points. I'll go into round four, wait until zombies start to spawn or until that starts going super fast and then I will grab it. Now I'll bring it to you in the first reactor I will grab these extra points over here just so I have some extra points and now what I want you to do is just get as many kills as you can try to just get this done and then we would go on to the next Round, or if you can get it with me. so we can just get power on. 
So I'll bring it to you when I'm done with all the ether reactors. So what I will do now is I try to get him so I can get that little extra bit of cap. And so I only have 600, 650. But what I'll do after this is I'll kill all these zombies in this horde. But I'm going to go through the teleporter so I can get it pack a punch. And then I'll kill all the zombies. So I can already start on my pack a punch challenges. So we can have those done over with. And we can have a good time. Oops, but um dang it, I just pack a punch ammo. Try not to die, like I'm currently failing at. But the first perk I think you should get is Deadshot because we're gonna do the free um We're gonna do the free jug perk up there to get the free jug perk. It should be a one shot to the head since Deadshot and um thing. Deadshot and that is pack a punch. So you don't even really have to aim. Well done. I was gonna train one of my Because it, if it hits them in the head, they're dead. They're all dead. Let's get to it. I'm in And they take a couple shots to actually kill them from the body. But as soon as you can, I will. I would um, get 1,500 low tier scrap so you can pack tier full times. Oh, I forgot. I got that. I'd also hunt these down. But you don't really have to since the level, the round that we're going on would basically get every single one of those done in only one game. So I wouldn't mess with that, but I would kill them in the head for as much as you can. Like, try to get as much of those headshots of these as you can. Of regular zombies. It's this. Just back up, please. Thank you. Now, where is the box? Now, this will give you free jug. That's why I told you to buy your one perk, so it's not extra money that you have to spend for your other perks. Let's see if it's there. I would also recommend stun grenades because they're really helpful for whenever you're in a pinch. And sticky bombs for whenever you're in a pinch. You can stun them, throw the sticky bombs, and run. Now I'd come through the teleporter, and if you saw my last video, you know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going up to Colonel's room. But you would have to excuse, like, the mic. I'm still getting used to it. I just bought a new headset. So I could have a better mic and better sound quality. But so now we're gonna progress through the rounds until I have enough for able to be able to get what I need. The 1,500. But to be able to get this done in two games, you would need 1,250 headshots and 1,250 at least. Uh, pack a punch kills and if you can do that every other challenge is just extremely easy and you'd fly through them the regular one of just getting the kills you'd fly through because it, of getting all the other kills you'd automatically fly through anyways but headshots is where I think is the hardest in most guns 
the pistols you don't have to worry about that much but just come up here at least aim around the head area and you should be fine with getting enough headshots but you need 1,250 headshots and just eliminations of um, pack a bunch guys just because all you know 1250 and then restart the game or exfil and replay it and get what you need because you'd probably upgrade level up the weapon some and stuff but I'll come back to you whenever it is the right time I don't really know round 11 I have enough points to tier 2 pack a punch but I'm sitting at a good enough point where I don't think I need that just yet so I'll be buying my all my perks and if you do need the extra damage boost I would recommend getting tier 2 pack a punch but if you don't then you don't have to and you could just do what I'm doing get the extra just perks that you can have I do recommend not getting elemental pop because it's going to let off random elements and you don't want that because it's going to take away from your headshot kills and your kills so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run back and do the whole thing again and I'll bring you back whenever I get tier 2 pack a punch or what to do in one of the came first so I will be showing you easy parts to do with the defense round basically it's just defending a certain point but you would also really really easily pass the challenge if you could just uh, go for headshots and stuff it will be easy for your headshot kills and everything it'll just make life ten times easier for you if you go for headshots now I would just listen out until one of those machine guns go off but also sometimes if you stand close enough they spawn into that lane I don't really know how that works but see I chose this spot and they all spawn but look for headshots if you can get as many headshots as possible and this will make life ten times easier on you and in my other video I told you you'll get enough headshots and you'll be fine without getting that but trust me I was wrong just go there it makes it ten times easier on you so right now I have 335 headshots which is a good place to stand at on round 14 I'll come back to you when I tier 2 pack a punch or whenever I hit a good enough headshot length I think it's gonna be tier 2 pack first since that's what I'm close enough to so tier 2 pack a punch so I'm going to tier 2 pack a punch right now I'm still sitting at a good enough standpoint where I really don't need to but it's just for that extra damage boost so I can sit up in there a lot longer now I'm probably going to have some zombies running at me but I will be fine I can kill them fast enough but basically just tier 2 and if you would really feel safe and you need a weapon mod I really do recommend the flame the eternal flame or whatever it's called the inferno I forgot what it is but the flame mod is really good and really doesn't take away from your headshots so I really do recommend that one so I'll come back to you whenever something really good happens or just something that I need to well uh, high tier salvage to get this third tier salvage uh, third tier damage upgrade and so that's basically it for this and so 
I'm just gonna go back up here and do exactly what I've been doing the entire time. I have 409 critical eliminations and 437 regular elims. So I'm just gonna continue on this path until I get some that would be really good to show to help out with something that you guys may have problems with. Pack a punch this weapon. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to third tier pack a punch the 1911. Now, so far it's going so easy, I don't need to leave or anything. So hopefully it's going as easy and breezy as it is going for me. And I will see you. Should be at the end of the wave. I will have enough that I can just leave after this wave because Hold the area. Fight for your life. You I have enough. I have enough headshots. Well, about to have enough headshots to win. Well, to be done with this round. I think orders. Is this an order round? It is round 30. I'm wondering if this is an order round. But since I'm about to just exfil anyways, I'm going to play this out and see how this is. If this is an order round, I'll get my kills and. Yeah, I'm just gonna get my kills and just let them take this down. Because this pistol ain't strong enough to do enough damage to him. Whatever it takes, I want it destroyed. This gun does not do enough damage to actually stand a chance against order. Alright. That's as much as I need. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Alright. So let's do this then. We're just gonna exfil it. I did not expect it to do enough damage, so that surprised me. Raptor one on route to outpost twenty-five. Get out of there, team. And running over here to grab the carpenter and the extra ammo. I should have probably not have bought the other thing then. So this is easy, just aim for that if you want some extra headshots. If not, just go for it. Any kill you can. Which I'm just going for any kill. Any kill that I can. Before me. So, 
on that zombie. In 30 seconds, strike team. Omega missiles targeting our position. So we just killed the last one. Wherever he may be. If he can show up in time, please. 15 seconds. There we go. That's the last one dusted. So that will be how to get your wrap. pistols. Outstanding. I'll see you at the landing. Diamond. So hope this helped. Hope it did something to help you. Hope you have a great day. Peace, love, and hair grease.